Lesson 1, Making Travel Easier with Bags Using specialized bags to make travel easier is a good idea. I should start doing that. What do you think, Anna? Definitely, John. Investing in travel bags designed for specific purposes can greatly streamline our packing process and enhance convenience. I've noticed that having a carry-on with multiple compartments and organizers helps keep everything in place and easily accessible during flights. That's a great point, John. With designated pockets for documents, electronics, and personal items, we can save time and avoid rummaging through our bags. I should also consider getting a durable and lightweight backpack for day trips. It would be convenient to carry essentials while exploring new destinations. Absolutely, John. A backpack with comfortable straps and compartments for water bottles, snacks, and a camera can make our sightseeing adventures more enjoyable. Another useful bag to have is a toiletry organizer. It helps keep our toiletries compact, organized, and easily accessible while on the go. I completely agree, John. No more digging through a jumble of toiletries in a regular bag. With a toiletry organizer, everything will be neatly arranged. I've also heard about compression bags for packing clothes. They're said to save space and keep clothing items wrinkle-free. That's a smart choice, John. Compression bags can be a game-changer, especially when we want to maximize space in our suitcases and minimize wrinkles. Additionally, investing in a sturdy and reliable suitcase with wheels and a telescopic handle can greatly ease the burden of carrying heavy luggage. Absolutely, John. Maneuvering through airports, train stations, or hotels becomes much more effortless with a well-designed suitcase. And let's not forget about the importance of a good travel wallet. It can keep our passports, cards, and travel documents secure and organized in one place. You're right, John. Having a travel wallet with RFID protection and designated pockets for different documents ensures peace of mind during our journeys. I should start researching and looking for these specialized bags. It seems like they can make a significant difference in travel convenience. Definitely, John. Take your time to find bags that suit your travel needs and preferences. It's worth investing in quality items that will last. I'll make a checklist of the bags I need and start gradually acquiring them. It'll make future travel smoother and more efficient. That sounds like a solid plan, John. By gradually building your collection of travel bags, you'll be well prepared for any adventure that comes your way. Thank you for the advice, Anna. Your insights have been helpful in realizing the importance of specialized bags for easier travel. You're welcome, John. I'm glad I could assist. Here's to more organized and hassle-free journeys with our new travel bags. Cheers to that, Anna. I'm excited to embark on future travels with the added convenience and ease that these bags will bring. Lesson 2, Refreshing the Wardrobe for the Season I agree, Anna. I need a fresh wardrobe for the upcoming season. It's always nice to update our clothing choices. Don't you think?
Absolutely, John. As the seasons change, it's a great opportunity to revamp our style and incorporate new trends into our wardrobe. I'm thinking of adding some colorful shirts and light jackets to my collection. It would give a vibrant and trendy touch to my outfits. That sounds like a great idea, John. Adding pops of color and versatile layers can instantly elevate your look and make it more season appropriate. I also need to invest in a few pairs of comfortable and stylish shoes. They can complement different outfits and provide a fresh update to my overall appearance. Definitely, John. The right pair of shoes can make a significant difference in the overall impression of an outfit. It's worth finding options that are both fashionable and comfortable. I've been considering experimenting with different patterns and prints. It would add some variety and visual interest to my wardrobe. That's a smart move, John. Patterns and prints can bring a unique and eye-catching element to your outfits. Just make sure to balance them with solid colored pieces. I'm also planning to declutter my closet and donate or sell the items I no longer wear. It'll create space for new additions and help me stay organized. That's a wise decision, John. Clearing out the unnecessary items allows you to focus on what you truly love and wear. Plus, it's a chance to give back to others. I've noticed that accessories can make a big difference in completing an outfit. I'll look for some statement necklaces and stylish hats to enhance my looks. Absolutely, John. Accessories have the power to elevate even the simplest outfits. They add personality and can reflect your individual style. I'll also keep an eye out for versatile pieces that can be easily mixed and matched. It saves time and gives more outfit options with fewer items. That's a smart strategy, John. Investing in versatile basics, such as neutral tops and bottoms, allows you to create different looks without a large wardrobe. I've been following some fashion influencers on social media to seek inspiration and stay updated on the latest trends. It helps me discover new styles. That's a great idea, John. Fashion influencers can provide valuable insights and inspiration. But remember to stay true to your personal style and choose what you genuinely like. I'm also considering exploring sustainable and ethical fashion brands. It aligns with my values and ensures that my clothing choices have a positive impact. That's commendable, John. Choosing sustainable fashion brands supports responsible practices and helps protect the environment. It's a step towards a more conscious wardrobe. I'll make a list of the items I need and gradually start updating my wardrobe. It will be exciting to embrace the new season with fresh and stylish outfits. That sounds like a solid plan, John. Take your time to curate a wardrobe that reflects your style and makes you feel confident. Enjoy the process. Thank you, Anna. Your insights and encouragement are greatly appreciated. Here's to a fashionable and confident season ahead. Lesson 3, Trying Something New. Anna, I've been thinking about trying out something new. What about you? What are you considering? 
That's interesting, John. Lately, I've been contemplating taking up painting as a hobby. It's something I've always wanted to try. Painting sounds like a great idea, Anna. It's a wonderful way to express your creativity and explore different art techniques. I agree, John. I've always admired the way paintings can evoke emotions and tell stories. I'd love to give it a go and see where it takes me. That's fantastic, Anna. You'll have the opportunity to create something beautiful and unique while discovering your own artistic style. Exactly, John. It's about embracing the process and enjoying the journey of self-expression through art. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Trying out new hobbies allows us to step outside our comfort zones and discover hidden talents or passions. Absolutely, John. It's important to challenge ourselves and continue growing and learning throughout our lives. So, besides painting, have you considered any other activities or hobbies? Yes, John. I've also been thinking about taking up yoga. I've heard it's a great way to improve flexibility and find inner peace. Yoga is an excellent choice, Anna. It not only benefits the body but also promotes mindfulness and overall well being. That's what I've heard, John. It seems like a holistic practice that can bring balance and harmony to both the mind and body. I believe you're right, Anna. Incorporating yoga into your routine can provide a sense of calm and help manage stress in our busy lives. I'm really excited to give it a try, John. It's important to prioritize self-care and find activities that nourish our physical and mental health. Absolutely, Anna. By exploring new hobbies, we open ourselves up to new experiences and opportunities for personal growth. That's so true, John. It's about embracing curiosity and being open to new possibilities. I completely agree, Anna. It's never too late to try something new and embark on a journey of self-discovery. That's the beauty of life, John. There's always something new to learn, explore, and enjoy. Indeed, Anna. So, whether it's painting, yoga, or any other activity, I encourage you to go for it and embrace the joy of trying something new. Thank you for the encouragement, John. I feel motivated to pursue these new hobbies and see where they take me. You're welcome, Anna. I have no doubt that you'll excel and find fulfillment in your new endeavors. I appreciate your support, John. And I hope you also find the courage to explore new horizons and discover your own passions. Thank you, Anna. I'm definitely inspired by our conversation, and I'll take your words to heart. Here's to embracing new experiences and enjoying the journey. Cheers to that, John. Let's make the most of every opportunity to learn, grow, and find joy in the pursuit of trying something new. Absolutely, Anna. Here's to stepping out of our comfort zones and embracing the endless possibilities that await us. Let's go for it. I couldn't agree more, John. Let's embark on this journey of exploration and self-discovery together.
Here's to new beginnings. Indeed, Anna. Here's to new beginnings and the exciting path ahead. Let's make it a remarkable journey. Lesson 4, Minimalist Living Anna, I've been reading about minimalist living, and it sounds interesting. Have you ever considered adopting a minimalist lifestyle? That's fascinating, John. I've heard about minimalism and its benefits. It's something I've been curious about, but I haven't fully explored it yet. Minimalism focuses on living with less and prioritizing what truly matters. It can help declutter our physical and mental spaces, leading to a more intentional and fulfilling life. That's intriguing, John. I can see how reducing possessions and simplifying our lives can bring a sense of clarity and freedom. Absolutely, Anna. It encourages us to let go of excess and embrace a more mindful approach to consumption and living. I like the idea of being more intentional with the things I own and the choices I make. It seems like minimalism can bring a sense of peace and reduce unnecessary stress. That's exactly it, Anna. Minimalism allows us to focus on experiences rather than material possessions, fostering a deeper sense of contentment and gratitude. It's definitely a shift in mindset, but one that seems worthwhile. I imagine it requires evaluating our priorities and making conscious decisions about what we truly need and value. You're absolutely right, Anna. Minimalism encourages us to question the societal norms of accumulation and re-evaluate our relationship with material possessions. I can see how it can help us appreciate the things we already have and lead to more sustainable and environmentally friendly choices. Precisely, Anna. By reducing our consumption and waste, we can contribute to a healthier planet and a more sustainable future. It's inspiring to think about the positive impact we can make by embracing minimalism. I'm eager to learn more and start implementing some of its principles in my life. That's great, Anna. Minimalism is a personal journey and it's important to take it at your own pace. Start with small steps and see how it resonates with you. I appreciate your advice, John. I'll begin by decluttering my living space and letting go of items that no longer serve a purpose or bring me joy. That's an excellent first step, Anna. Clearing physical clutter can have a profound impact on our mental well-being and create space for what truly matters. I'm excited to experience the benefits of a simpler and more intentional lifestyle. It feels like a path towards greater freedom and fulfillment. I'm glad you're enthusiastic, Anna. Remember that minimalism is not about deprivation but about aligning our lives with what brings us true happiness and meaning. I'll keep that in mind, John. It's about finding balance and living a life that's in harmony with our values and aspirations. Absolutely, Anna. Embracing minimalism is a personal journey that can lead to a more intentional and fulfilling life. I wish you all the best on your minimalist path. Thank you, John. I appreciate your support and encouragement. I'll keep you updated on my progress as I delve deeper into minimalism.
I look forward to hearing about your experiences, Anna. Feel free to share any insights or discoveries along the way. Let's continue to learn and grow together. Definitely, John. Let's support each other on this journey towards a simpler and more meaningful life. Here's to embracing minimalism. Cheers to that, Anna. May minimalism bring us clarity, purpose, and a greater appreciation for what truly matters. Let's make the most of this new adventure. Lesson 5, Routine Supermarket Visit Where do you usually go? I usually go to the supermarket down the street. That's convenient, John. Supermarkets are a common destination for many of us. Yes, they offer a wide variety of products and groceries all in one place. It's convenient to have everything we need in a single location. Absolutely, Anna. I find it saves me time and effort. Do you have a specific routine when you go to the supermarket? Yes, I usually make a list beforehand to ensure I don't forget anything. That's a smart approach, John. It helps us stay organized and focused. And it also helps me stick to my budget by avoiding unnecessary purchases. Budgeting is important, especially when it comes to grocery shopping. Indeed, Anna. It's easy to get carried away and overspend without a plan. Do you have any tips for navigating the supermarket efficiently? One tip is to start with the essential items and then move on to other sections. That's a good strategy, John. It helps us prioritize and not miss anything important. Also, comparing prices and checking for any promotions can help us save money. It's always good to be mindful of discounts and special offers. And don't forget to check the expiration dates of perishable items. Yes, ensuring the freshness of the products we buy is crucial. Lastly, bringing reusable bags can help reduce plastic waste. That's an important point, John. We should strive to be environmentally conscious. Absolutely, Anna. Small actions can make a big difference. So, let's make our supermarket visits efficient, budget-friendly, and eco-friendly. Agreed, Anna. Let's embrace smart shopping habits and make the most of our trips. Here's to successful supermarket visits and satisfying grocery hauls. Cheers to that. May our shopping experiences be smooth and rewarding. Lesson 6, Spacious Conference Room I noted that our conference room can accommodate up to 30 people. That's great, John. Having a spacious conference room is essential for hosting meetings and events. Absolutely, Anna. It allows us to comfortably accommodate a larger number of participants. It's important to have enough space for everyone to sit and move around freely. 
Yes, a crowded and cramped environment can hinder productivity and engagement. Does the conference room have all the necessary equipment and amenities? Yes, it's well equipped with a projector, screen, sound system, and whiteboard. That's perfect, John. Having the right tools can enhance the effectiveness of presentations and discussions. We also have comfortable chairs and a large table for collaborative work. Comfortable seating and a conducive environment contribute to a positive meeting experience. Absolutely, Anna. It's important to create a welcoming and professional atmosphere. Is there sufficient natural light in the conference room? Yes, we're fortunate to have large windows that allow ample natural light to come in. Natural light can improve mood and energy levels during meetings. It creates a more uplifting and refreshing environment. That's great, John. It's always beneficial to have a well-lit space. Additionally, the conference room is equipped with Wi-Fi for seamless connectivity. Good internet connectivity is crucial for accessing online resources and collaborating digitally. Absolutely, Anna. It enables us to leverage technology and enhance communication. Is the conference room easily accessible within the office premises? Yes, it's conveniently located near the main entrance and easily accessible for everyone. That's important for ensuring convenience and punctuality. Indeed, Anna. Easy accessibility saves time and eliminates unnecessary hassles. Overall, it sounds like our conference room is well-designed and equipped. Yes, it's a versatile space that can cater to various meeting and event needs. That's excellent, John. A functional and spacious conference room is a valuable asset for any organization. Here's to productive meetings and successful events in our spacious conference room. Cheers to that. May our discussions be productive and our gatherings be memorable. Cheers. Let's utilize our conference room to its fullest potential and create meaningful experiences. Lesson 7, Understanding Questions. That's understandable. What kind of questions did they ask during the interview? They asked a range of questions, John. They wanted to assess my skills, experience, and suitability for the role. Did they ask any specific technical questions related to the job? Yes, they did. They wanted to gauge my knowledge and proficiency in certain areas. Were the questions mainly focused on your previous work experience? Yes, they were interested in understanding my past accomplishments and how they relate to the position. Did they ask any behavioral or situational questions? Absolutely, John. They wanted to know how I would handle certain situations or challenges. Were there any questions about your long-term career goals? 
Yes, they were curious about my aspirations and how the role would align with my future plans. Did they inquire about your strengths and weaknesses? Yes, they asked me to highlight my strengths and also discuss areas where I could improve. Were there any questions about your ability to work in a team? Definitely, John. They wanted to assess my collaboration and communication skills. Did they ask about your problem-solving abilities? Yes, they were interested in understanding how I approach and solve problems. Were there any questions about your leadership experience? Yes, they inquired about any leadership roles I've had and how I've managed teams. Did they ask about your adaptability and flexibility? Yes, they wanted to know how well I can adjust to changing circumstances and handle ambiguity. Were there any questions related to your organizational and time management skills? Yes, they asked how I prioritize tasks and manage my time effectively. Did they inquire about your ability to work under pressure? Yes, they wanted to know how I handle deadlines and stressful situations. Were there any questions about your communication skills? Absolutely, John. They asked about my ability to articulate ideas and engage with others. Did they ask any questions to assess your cultural fit within the organization? Yes, they were interested in knowing if I align with their values and work culture. It sounds like they covered a wide range of topics during the interview. Yes, they wanted to gather a comprehensive understanding of my skills and suitability for the role. Here's to answering interview questions with confidence and showcasing our best qualities. Cheers to that. May our interview experiences be positive and lead to exciting opportunities. Cheers. Let's approach interviews with preparation and a positive mindset, ready to tackle any question that comes our way. Lesson 8, Giving Constructive Feedback Anna, I'd like to discuss something with you, but I want to make sure my feedback is constructive. I appreciate that, John. It's important to maintain a polite tone when giving feedback. I wanted to mention that your presentation was informative, but it lacked visual aids. Thank you for your feedback, John. I understand the importance of incorporating visual elements for better engagement. I think adding relevant images or slides would enhance the overall impact of your presentation. That's a valid point, John. I will definitely consider including visual aids in my future presentations. I believe it would help the audience better understand and retain the information you're sharing. I agree, John. Visual aids can be powerful tools for conveying complex ideas in a more accessible way. Another suggestion I have is to work on your delivery. Sometimes your speaking pace is a bit fast. Thank you for pointing that out, John. 
I'll make a conscious effort to speak more clearly and at a moderate pace. Slowing down a bit will give the audience time to absorb the content and follow along more easily. I understand, John. It's important to strike a balance between providing enough information and allowing for comprehension. Additionally, I noticed a few instances where you could have provided more examples or anecdotes to illustrate your points. I appreciate that feedback, John. Including relevant examples can make the content more relatable and memorable. It helps the audience connect with the information on a deeper level. Absolutely, John. I'll make sure to incorporate more examples in my future presentations. Overall, Anna, I think you have great potential as a presenter. These suggestions are meant to help you further improve. Thank you, John. I value your feedback and will work on implementing these suggestions to enhance my presentation skills. I'm confident that with practice and refinement, your presentations will become even more impactful. I appreciate your support and encouragement, John. I'm committed to continuous improvement. Keep up the great work, Anna. I look forward to seeing your growth as a presenter. Thank you, John. Your feedback motivates me to strive for excellence. You're welcome, Anna. Remember, constructive feedback is meant to help us grow and achieve our best. Absolutely, John. Let's continue to support and uplift each other through constructive feedback. Agreed, Anna. Together, we can learn and improve, creating a positive and encouraging environment. Lesson 9, Ensuring Comfortable Stay Anna, I want to assure you that we aim to make your stay as comfortable as possible. That's great to hear, John. I appreciate your attention to ensuring a pleasant experience. If you encounter any issues or have specific requests, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you for your assurance, John. It's reassuring to know that you're open to addressing any concerns. We value your comfort and satisfaction during your stay with us. I'm glad to hear that, John. It's important to feel at ease and well taken care of. If there's anything we can do to enhance your stay, please inform our staff. I will definitely reach out if I need any assistance or have special requirements. We have a dedicated team ready to assist you with any needs you may have. That's wonderful, John. It's comforting to know that support is readily available. Our goal is to create a welcoming and comfortable environment for all our guests. I appreciate the effort you put into ensuring a positive experience for your guests. We're here to make your stay as enjoyable and hassle-free as possible. That's exactly what I'm looking for, John. A stress-free and pleasant stay. We strive to exceed your expectations and provide excellent service. I'm confident that with your commitment, 
my stay will be comfortable and satisfying. It's our pleasure to serve you, Anna. Your comfort is our top priority. Thank you, John. I'm looking forward to a delightful stay at your establishment. We're thrilled to have you as our guest, Anna. We'll do our best to make it a memorable experience. I appreciate your warm hospitality, John. I'm certain it will be a pleasant stay. We're here to ensure your comfort and satisfaction throughout your time with us. Thank you, John. I'm grateful for your dedication to providing a comfortable stay. It's our pleasure, Anna. We're committed to making your experience exceptional. I'm excited to begin my stay and enjoy the comfort your establishment offers. We can't wait to welcome you, Anna. We'll make sure your stay is nothing short of remarkable. Lesson 10, Travel Tips and Destination Choices Anna, do you have any travel tips? I'm planning a trip and could use some advice. Absolutely, John. I'd be happy to share some travel tips. Where are you thinking of going? I'm considering a trip to Europe. Any recommendations for must-visit destinations? Europe offers a wide range of amazing places to explore. Have you thought about visiting Paris? Paris sounds fantastic. I've always wanted to see the Eiffel Tower and experience the city's charm. Paris is a popular choice for its iconic landmarks and rich cultural heritage. Don't forget to try some delicious French cuisine while you're there. That's a great suggestion, Anna. I'll make sure to indulge in some French delicacies. Another incredible destination in Europe is Rome. The ancient ruins and historical sites are truly captivating. Rome sounds fascinating. I'd love to visit the Colosseum and explore the Vatican City. Those are must-see attractions, John. The history and art in Rome are truly remarkable. I'm also considering Barcelona. The combination of stunning architecture and vibrant culture appeals to me. Barcelona is a vibrant city indeed, John. The unique works of Antoni Gaudi, like the Sagrada Familia, are worth admiring. I've heard about the beauty of Santorini in Greece. The whitewashed buildings and stunning sunsets seem incredible. Santorini is known for its breathtaking views, John. It's a perfect destination for relaxation and scenic beauty. I appreciate these suggestions, Anna. It's challenging to choose just one destination. Absolutely, John. Each place has its own charm and exploring different cities can make your trip even more memorable. Do you have any general travel tips to make the trip smoother? One important tip is to pack light and bring essential items. It makes traveling more convenient and saves you from lugging around heavy bags. That's a good point, Anna. I'll make sure to pack efficiently and only bring what I truly need. 
Another tip is to plan your itinerary, but also leave room for spontaneity and exploration. Sometimes the best experiences happen unexpectedly. I agree, Anna. It's nice to have a general plan, but leaving room for flexibility allows for unexpected discoveries. Lastly, don't forget to research the local customs and etiquette of the places you're visiting. It shows respect for the culture and helps you blend in better. That's a valuable tip, Anna. Being culturally aware is important to have a positive interaction with the locals. Absolutely, John. Respect and understanding go a long way in making your trip more enjoyable. Thank you for these travel tips and destination suggestions, Anna. I'm feeling more excited and prepared for my trip. You're welcome, John. I hope you have an incredible journey and create wonderful memories. I'll make sure to share my experiences with you when I return. Thanks again for your guidance, Anna. I look forward to hearing all about it, John. Safe travels and enjoy your adventure to the fullest. Thank you, Anna. I'll make the most of it and cherish every moment. Lesson 11, Shopping at Department Stores Anna, have you ever considered shopping at department stores? They usually have a wide variety of products. That's a good idea, John. Department stores often offer a diverse selection of items, making it convenient to find what you need. Exactly, Anna. Whether it's clothing, electronics, or household goods, department stores tend to have a lot of options under one roof. It's convenient to have everything in one place. Plus, department stores often have sales and discounts, making it budget-friendly. That's a great advantage, Anna. Who doesn't love a good deal? It's a way to save money while getting quality products. Absolutely, John. And department stores often have knowledgeable staff who can assist you with any questions or concerns. That's true, Anna. The staff can provide guidance and help you make informed decisions about your purchases. Another benefit of shopping at department stores is the opportunity to try out products before buying them. That's a good point, Anna. Being able to see and touch the items firsthand gives you a better idea of their quality and suitability. Plus, if you need to return or exchange an item, department stores usually have customer-friendly policies. That's reassuring, Anna. It's important to have a hassle-free return process in case something doesn't meet your expectations. Also, department stores often have various payment options, including cash, credit cards, and sometimes installment plans. That's convenient, Anna. It offers flexibility in how you choose to pay for your purchases. Additionally, department stores often have loyalty programs or reward systems, giving you additional benefits or discounts. That's a nice perk, Anna. Loyalty programs can help you save even more money in the long run. Overall, shopping at department stores can be a convenient and cost-effective way to meet your shopping needs.
I agree, Anna. They provide a one-stop shopping experience with a wide range of products and services. It's definitely worth considering, especially when you're looking for variety and convenience. Absolutely, Anna. Next time I need to do some shopping, I'll make sure to check out the department stores in my area. That sounds like a plan, John. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Happy shopping! Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your insights and tips. I'm looking forward to a successful shopping trip. You're welcome, John. Enjoy your shopping experience and make the most of what department stores have to offer. I will, Anna. Thank you again for the conversation. It was helpful and informative. My pleasure, John. Anytime you need suggestions or advice, feel free to ask. Happy shopping and have a great day. Thank you, Anna. I'll keep that in mind. Have a wonderful day too. Lesson 12, Airport Arrival and Excitement Hi, Anna. Are you excited about arriving at the airport? I can't wait to explore the new city. Hi, John. Absolutely, I'm thrilled to be at the airport. It's the start of a new adventure. Airports have a sense of anticipation and excitement. It's always fascinating to see people coming and going. I agree, John. Airports are like gateways to new experiences, connecting us to different cultures and places. It's also interesting to observe the hustle and bustle of the airport, with people rushing to catch flights or reuniting with loved ones. Definitely, John. Airports are filled with emotions, whether it's the joy of meeting someone or the anticipation of a trip. And the feeling of stepping off the plane in a new city is indescribable. It's like a fresh start and a chance to explore. I couldn't agree more, John. The moment you arrive in a new city, there's a sense of wonder and curiosity about what awaits. It's like embarking on a journey of discovery, where every corner holds the potential for new experiences and memories. Absolutely, John. The new city becomes a blank canvas, ready to be painted with our adventures and encounters. And it's not just the destination itself, but also the journey that adds to the excitement. The anticipation builds up during the flight. I feel the same way, John. The flight gives us time to reflect, plan, and get excited about the experiences that lie ahead. Plus, airports often have unique features and amenities that reflect the culture of the city or country. That's true, John. Some airports have beautiful architecture, art installations, or local cuisine to give you a taste of the place. It's like getting a sneak peek into the local culture even before stepping foot outside the airport. And once we're at the airport, it's fascinating to see the diversity of people from different backgrounds and nationalities. Absolutely, Anna. Airports are melting pots of cultures, creating a sense of global connection. 
It's a reminder that we're all part of a larger community, bound by our shared love for exploration and adventure. And even though travel can be tiring at times, the excitement and anticipation make it all worthwhile. Definitely, John. The fatigue fades away as soon as we set foot in the new city, ready to immerse ourselves in its wonders. I can't wait to explore the streets, try local cuisine, and discover hidden gems. It's going to be an incredible journey. I share your excitement, John. Let's make the most of our time in the new city and create unforgettable memories. Absolutely, Anna. Here's to new adventures and the joy of exploration. Cheers to that, John. Let's embrace the unknown and make this trip one for the books. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Let the adventure begin. Lesson 13, Grocery Shopping Anna, did you buy bread and milk? I need them for breakfast. Yes, John. I got them at the store. I thought you might need them. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate your thoughtfulness. Having bread and milk is essential for my morning routine. You're welcome, John. I know how important it is to start the day with a nutritious breakfast. Absolutely, Anna. Bread provides carbohydrates for energy, and milk is a good source of calcium and protein. It's important to have a balanced diet that includes these essential food items. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Bread and milk are staples in many households. They are versatile ingredients that can be used in various recipes and meals. That's true, Anna. Bread can be used for sandwiches, toast, or as a side with soups and stews. And milk can be enjoyed on its own, used in cereal, or added to smoothies and recipes. It's great to have them readily available at home so that I can prepare a quick and nutritious meal. Convenience is key when it comes to grocery shopping. Having bread and milk in stock saves time and effort. Definitely, Anna. It's always a good idea to check the pantry and make sure we have the essentials. Planning ahead and having a well-stocked kitchen makes meal preparation easier. Plus, having bread and milk on hand means I won't have to make frequent trips to the store. That's a time and money saving strategy, John. Buying in bulk can be cost effective. It's true, Anna. Buying larger quantities of bread and milk can help save money in the long run. And it's important to check the expiration dates to ensure freshness and quality. Absolutely, Anna. We should always prioritize food safety and consume products before they expire. It's good to be mindful of our consumption and avoid waste. Agreed, Anna. By buying the necessary items and using them before they spoil, we can reduce food waste. And it's always a good practice to make a grocery list before heading to the store. 
That's a helpful tip, Anna. A list helps us stay organized and ensures we don't forget any essential items. Exactly, John. It saves time and helps us avoid unnecessary purchases. Thank you for getting the bread and milk, Anna. I'm glad we have them ready for breakfast. You're welcome, John. I'm happy to contribute to a well-stocked kitchen. It's great to have a reliable partner in managing household chores and responsibilities. Likewise, John. Teamwork makes everything easier and more enjoyable. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Together, we can create a harmonious and efficient living environment. Absolutely, John. Let's continue to support each other and make our daily routines more convenient. I appreciate your support, Anna. Thank you for being such a wonderful partner. The feeling is mutual, John. Let's toast to a well-stocked pantry and a happy home. Cheers to that, Anna. Here's to a well-prepared breakfast and many more shared moments. Cheers, John. May our kitchen always be filled with love and nourishment. I'll drink to that, Anna. Cheers to a fulfilling and enjoyable day ahead.